Good morning, TCTC. I'm your host, Caitlin Duffield. And I'm Mackenzie Van Dyke. And welcome back to another episode of TCTC Time. Before we start, Friday, October 22nd, there will be no school, so please do not report to the building. November 15th, Interstate Studio will be here for picture retakes. This is for juniors only. There will be an early dismissal on October 21st for Badger. Please wait for the announcement to be released. Next up on Program Insider, we feature cosmetology, which is taught by Ms. Cornage and Ms. Morris. Let's take a look. To be perfectly honest with you, the reason I went into the field of cosmetology was because my best friend was doing it also. So it has absolutely nothing to do with my love of doing hair. I grew up with five brothers. I had no idea how to do hair. I had no idea how to take care of hair. Once I got into the school, I learned the love of doing hair and nails. So that's how it went. It just worked out beautifully for me. As a child, I always loved playing with hair. I loved dressing up. I've always loved fashion. Um, I'm artistic, and I just think that um, I love people, and I just think that cosmetology was a great fit for me. Um, all of my sisters went off to college, and my parents were pleased and welcomed the fact that I wanted to be a hairdresser because it was a natural fit. Um, it was also a lot less expensive, so I am a product of a career center, um, and I've never regretted um, a minute. I've been in the industry for over 30 years. My favorite part is I love watching the progress of my students. Um, lots of times when we learn a skill, we're all thumbs and we're all upside down and we don't know what to do first, and then when they see something come together because we break it down, the joy that they feel and the sense of accomplishment is amazing. So that's one of my best parts of it. Let's see, there's so many wonderful things that I love. I love seeing when one of my students understands a concept, um, can duplicate my example. Um, I love to um, see the joy that they um, have in the mornings when it's you know lab time. Um, I love sharing my passion Program. My name is Nicolette Poling and I'm in cosmetology. Hi, my name is Sarah Newman and I'm from cosmetology. My name is Drew and my program is cosmetology. What made me want to join cosmetology was like it's a good field to be in. There's a lot of opportunities. It's a forever growing job. Like you will always have a job in cosmetology. So like robots won't take it over. It's nothing. It's a human job. I do feel like I've advanced. Um, going into this, I didn't know how to properly do updos, and we're learning how to do men's cuts right now, and I feel like I'm improving on that. My favorite thing that I've learned so far is probably hair cutting, um, or braids. I really like braids, too, because you learned a lot, and I'm bad at fishtail braids, but I'm really good at rope braids. Um, I do plan on getting a job after this. I would like to go work in a salon or maybe even own my own salon someday. Thanks, Cosmetology. Next up on Teacher Feature, we head down to Miss Mock's room to take a look at Miss Mock. A sense of trust that they feel in me. You know, I think I validate them on a personal level and a student level and so I think they feel comfortable to come to me about you know any personal or situation that they have like about school um, because I'm willing to listen and you know willing to advocate for them so I think I was born to be a teacher because I have a little brother who's like six and a half years younger than me and so when he was born I just started kindergarten and I pretty much used him as like my student my whole entire life but yeah I think I've always been a natural teacher but I 
landed on teaching, especially high school English, is because this is a position that I get to do all of the things. Like I get to be exposed to all of the different careers and different pathways. Teaching is like, I'm a lifelong learner. I get to explore new things all the time. So it helps me do all of the things that I want to do. But I also just think I'm like a natural teacher. I worked at Home Depot as a cashier. I also worked at YSU in like the billing department. Um, so those were like my big jobs, but I was lucky enough to get hired as a teacher right after I graduated. Thanks, Ms. Mock. Now we have another episode of Bobby's Door Tip. Let's take it over to Araja Wright. Welcome to today's episode of Bobby's Road Trip. I'm Araja Wright, and today we are going over the garden wall to show off some fun fall festivities in Trumbull County. Kudra Farms is a family-owned farm in Braceville, Ohio. It started its operation in 1954. Over the years, it has produced many different crops and a variety of different produce. In its more recent years, it has switched to something a little different for the fall seasons. First, we have Adventure Zone. They got mountains of hay for climbing and sliding, some tubes for running around, goats, and my personal favorite, as you can see, the giant grain pool. Next, we have an amazing hay ride around one of the Kuchta Farms' biggest fields, where you could relax and even get a glimpse of the nearby sunflower field as you ride. And we can't forget about their amazing store. With tons of decor and snacks, it's perfect for the fall season. And lastly, Kuchta Farms' pumpkin patch. Here, there are amazing pumpkins for you to choose from. If you're looking to carve pumpkins this season, I hope one of these make the cut. And that's all for today's episode of Bobby's Road Trip. I hope this fall season Kuchta Farms will be your pick of the patch. Thanks, Araja. In our Student Connect segment, we feature Zachary Zimbardi and the Liberty Marching Band. Let's get to them. My name is Zachary Zimbardi and I'm a TCTC senior and I am a part of the Liberty Marching Band. Uh, so our marching band is about 84 members strong, uh, kind of down because of COVID. We, we really are a great band together. We are very uh, freshman and sophomore strong this year. We have, we have our Disney trip coming up in April this year, uh, our senior nights in two weeks. Uh, I really do enjoy being in band. I've been in band for eight years. Uh, this is my fourth year for marching band. Um, you really do learn a lot of a lot of different techniques that you can put into the real world. Thanks, Zach. Well, that's it for this episode of TCTC Time. I'm Caitlin Duffield. And I'm Mackenzie Van Dyke, and we'll see you next time.